What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to I've Got This Times 2. My name is Tamika and if you are new here, welcome. I am so glad you clicked on this thumbnail. I'm talking everything finances. Let's get into the video. So today, let's talk about first applying for school. I know it can be intimidating and I know that it can be overwhelming. However, it's an investment into your future. So if you go to school, they say you get smart. You know, I, I, I don't know. But what I do know is, is that when I wanted to go to medical assisting school, or if I wanted, when I wanted to go to ultrasound school, I didn't worry about the financial part of it. I had to apply for loans. I had to get financial aid. I did whatever it took for me to get to that next level. Now, speaking hindsight, 40 years, 20 plus years later, I'm 42. And do I have student loans? No, I've paid them off. However, it just took me, it took time to pay them off. But I knew once I got into that field, it was not going to be a problem with me paying my loans because one, I'll be making more money, right? More than what I'm making at McDonald's or Taco Bell or Ross at the time. Um, I, it was just an investment. So moving on to the next point I want to make is that why do people say, I don't want to get loans. I don't want to get a student loan. Okay. Well, how do you think? Well, I can't even say the president because I don't think he went to school. But how do you think I could go back from the next, our last president, Barack Obama? Look, he went to Yale, Princeton, Harvard. He went to great schools. And I don't believe that he had any problem or stress related to actually, hey, I'm going to have to pay this loan back. Okay, well, he's made 10, 20, 30 times more than what that school loan has ever costed him so my thing is this if you're going to go to school go to school don't worry about the finances the finances will like pay for themselves in the end my school cost thirty thousand dollars for me to go to school nowadays it costs between 25 depending on where you live and what state it costs between twenty five thousand to forty thousand dollars to go to ultrasound school now one year working let me tally that up first year out of school i made 21 dollars an hour so that means in before taxes i made a grand whopping forty thousand dollars so that's not including my overtime that's not including my uh on-call money that's not including any on any of that on top of that i probably made about a fifty thousand dollar right out of school a year income so with that being said am i gonna stress off the fact that my school cost thirty thousand? no i made it back in the first year so with that you have to just take that into consideration and make sure that when you apply for these schools and when you go to school whether it's harvard whether it's a technical college definitely just don't worry about the money worry about getting the education so you could go work in the field so you can pay that money off you're going to make it back um if you're considering going to school definitely and you're, you're stressing about the finances my like point to you or key point to you is to make sure that you pay off your debt prior to going to school so the only thing you have to pay back is your student loans so what i mean by that is if you have a target card a macy's card a sephora card or ulta card get rid of those you don't need them if you can't pay cash for anything, then you don't need a credit card. I have zero credit card and I am so grateful. I'm on a journey of purchasing a house with my husband and we are literally dwindling down our debt. I wanted credit cards. I had credit cards since I've been 18 and I've always paid them on time. I just never thought like, oh man, I don't, I, I need a credit card. If I'm going to the store, if I'm going to go shop at Target, why not have a Target credit card? Well, that's the wrong mindset to have. If you are trying to get, like, if you're skeptical or, oh, I don't know about going to school, I have these loans. If you're trying, to, if you're thinking that way anyways, then you need to get rid of credit card debt. Credit card debt keeps a lot of Americans in debt. I mean, you have interest, 
you have the principle like it's a lot right so if you can get down and you just start I use the Dave Ramsey method where you pay off your lowest credit card so if Target is 200 and Macy's is 500 I'm gonna pay off Target first then the next month I'm gonna try to whatever I was paying for Target I'm gonna combine that with my Macy payment and make an extra payment that month to dwindle down the cost of my payments and to get rid of credit card debt. So when you're going to school, when you enter into school, you have no debt, right? And so just really take heed on what I'm saying. Like, don't worry about how much the school is going to cost. You are, you know, it, find out if the school offers a scholarship. Find out if they, you know, know people who are wanting to invest in a student. Um, these are good things that you could ask when you go into your interview um, with the school if they don't don't worry about it but at least you ought, you asked and if the answer is no it's no but at least you asked and so with that being said I wanted to just put this video out there because I get a lot of questions you know how much is school am I you know is there loans involved if is so it frustrates me because you're kind of like my mom would say and I don't know if you'll get this analogy but you're gagging at a gnat and swallowing a camel like stop worrying about um the money aspect of it and go get your education go get in you know invested in your career and this is a start to your career your career is gonna bring you money now I make like I want to say right now I'm making about two I would say two to three times what I started off making a year and I paid off my student loan within a year and a half two years so don't worry about that that financial aspect of the student loan just know that okay I have it and I, it does not start increasing or you don't have to pay it back until six months after you're in you're out of school so you have time to save and that first payment like you go get a job and I made I got a job right out of school was I blessed absolutely but I know that that opportunity is still out there for everyone so if you have to get on the grind faxing your email e faxing your resume emailing your resume taking your resume face to face i know with covid and coronavirus right now a lot of people aren't doing face to face but you can still go drop off your hey hr i know mail it to them send it make your name out there um these little clinics that are popping up that have popped up since i've been active in in 20 years there's a lot of radiology clinics out there that are looking for ultrasound text and so or x-ray text or you know radiology ct mri text just get involved like invest in yourself this isn't an investment if you're going to invest who else is there to invest in you other than you so i'm not coming on here to like preach at you i'm just trying to motivate you and to get you started and get you empowered to make sure that you want to do this career if you do don't worry about the finances because it's going to come back to you tenfold believe me in one weekend one weekend i tell you i made seven thousand dollars from call so i don't know what the call is right now but when i was doing call it was great I mean like one weekend I went out and flourished this is just a little story I was I, I got pregnant with my first son in my first marriage and he left me but I wasn't sad because I knew I had built this career and I knew I had a great career so me and my son was gonna be fine one weekend I planned my <laughs> baby shower okay and not one person showed up past my immediate family my mom my sister my aunt me my cousin me my sister both my sisters my nieces those type of people showed up but as far as like outside of my family no one showed up to my baby shower and so I needed to go out and get everything and it was I literally I think I waited like three weeks before I was due to have a baby shower because I was working and what ended up happening was one weekend a month one weekend that that next weekend after my baby shower, my mom and I went out and I splurged whatever I thought I wanted. I bought I bought a two thousand dollars stroller. I didn't care, but my, my the point I'm trying to make. I spent ten thousand dollars that weekend, by the way. But the point I'm trying to make is 
the money will come back to you believe me it's not a field that does not offer any coins you're going to be making paper i don't care where you live you're going to be making money better than any you know fast food job and i'm not knocking those but if that's where you work you work but what i'm saying is is that you don't want you don't have to worry about am i going to be able to pay my bills am i going to be able to support myself you won't have to worry about that anymore you're taking that step to alleviate that and to better your future and to better your foundation for you and your family so with that being said i hope this video really motivated you guys to just look past the money part of it it does cost a lot i'm not trying to sugarcoat that but what i am trying to say is, is that that is just a measly like dust compared to what your income is going to be um and i'm just living proof i only speak what i know and what i know is when I started school, my school started 30,000. I made 40,000 my first year, so technically I could have paid it back in the first year, right? However, you know, I did not do what I'm trying to tell you guys to do is pay off your credit card bills. I still had credit card bills. I still had things like that where I was like, "Okay, well, I had to take my more I had to take more time." And in 2 years, I had paid that off and it was gone and I didn't have to worry about it, but I was working still in in a field that I was flourishing in and I was growing. And so now from 21 to $60 an hour, look how much money you are able to make in this field. Um, it's a great field, it's, it's a good career, you're helping people. And so I just wanted to come on here and motivate you guys past that part of it. Don't let that be a hiccup to your future. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, I have merch, yay! I'm so excited and Right now, my video, my channel is not where you can link it or have like the little store at the underneath your profile here, but I will have everything down, all the details down in the description box. So please go check out my merch. I absolutely loved, love it. Um, and what else? Oh my gosh. Uh, I want to reach out to you guys and I want to be that motivating factor in your life. I talk to you guys about having a strong foundation and just making sure that, you know, your foundation is strong going through school. I want to be that foundation for you guys. So I am opening up and I'm accepting applications. I talked it over with my husband and this is something that was laid on my heart to do. And I really want to be that motivation and also that like, that stronghold for you guys going through this i know school is difficult it was difficult for me so i know that has not changed and if i could have talked to a mentor um that was already in the field that could give me some insight on like which direction or how am i doing this and what to do and what not to do i'm going crazy if i could talk to someone about that then it would have been really helpful but i didn't have that so i'm offering that to you i'm taking applications and i'll have all the details down in the description box and um yeah we'll go from there we will go from there i'm so excited my channel is so much taking off and it's all because of you and i so appreciate you guys i i love each and every one of you that offers and just pours into my channel oh i'm so elated thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time if you like this video, you will be sure to like all my other videos as well. Please click here or here or hit here to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.